Okay, now let's see. One thing I wanted to do was to put this this chain on. This is important that it's been soaked. It's supposed to be. Um, they claim that it's that it's all cotton, and I'm not real sure. Let's see. I've got scissors. Sale. These just went on yesterday and I'm keeping them pretty wet. That's what I'm afraid is going to get too dry, but I, let, I waited to put them on. And the cow just went on yesterday. The mules have to have double trees. Now I may have to, um, have to work on this. Tell you how this double tree work, how these double double trees worked, and I knew that sometimes they drug them on the ground. Well, he knew that you had to um, you had to hook them on one corner of the uh, long piece of the double tree, and that's the way they move from barn to field was dragging it endwise so they didn't dig up too much stuff. double tree was to hook up two mules with one attachment and this will be attached to the mules harness in here for the trip down. Now that's all but one of those. Job. You want to see if this double tree is too long for the single trees? If what? Is that double tree too long for the, should the single trees be closer together? The mules are going to be closer together. I'm sure that's true. Well, they've got to be closer together than that. Yes, put them across behind it. You can tell about how far to put them, not even with their hind legs. Get them a little wetter, they don't want to bounce off of there. Overnight, maybe two nights, and it's cotton cord, cotton twine, crocheted into a chain, and it's going to be, let's see, let's see if this one was the one I measured. Yeah, and that's the one I measured. They're a little bit different cord. This one will be lines for the mules. And you have to scrape everything, scratch everything that you want to 
the patch. Now I'll leave that rope kind of loose because it'll shrink and hopefully when the thing is fired it will show the texture of the cord <coughs> because the cord will be gone. The cord burns away and becomes ash somewhere and um, the texture of the cord fires because it is cotton and the clay which was in suspension in the water has attached, has um, soaked up. And that's the way I make the cover of the um, wagon is by soaking cotton cloth and um, soak the cotton cloth and drape it over there just like cloth, like canvas. And then when it's fired, I have to first fire the um, the clay that has the bows for the wagon and then drape it for the second firing and it will drape naturally because it is cloth. Okay now that's got the lines on that one and why don't I go on with what I was going to do down there now and um, this is a little package of things that will not be used until they arrive at the destination and therefore uh, they're wrapped up and tied up tight this is a gun for the man that is putting his stones under the wheel. This is an anvil. And this is the tar bucket. And the tar bucket was for <coughs> the grease that kept the axles turning. And that's the important thing that got them from one place to another was grease for the axles. And that, that's where we get the expression, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And if you ran out completely, you would stop uh, somewhere and see if you could find a um, wild animal, a fat possum. Most possums have a lot of grease about them. And um, the old lady Prussian. Yep, this she's pregnant. Huh? She is pregnant and oh, she, she is, is she's pushing. Still there pushing. she's ready to push. He's ready to turn the wheel. This one's got the rock to put in yet. And there will be a man there that's got a stick that will say to the oxen, "Get going," you know. He's, he's a smaller individual, probably a teenage boy. All right, let's get this where it's going to be. Where's it going to be? Right here. The whole, the problem all the way with this is that when something comes up like church and company and nap and, um, unplanned activities of various kinds. Uh, I have to keep it I have to keep it from getting dry. And I use the paintbrush to paint those flat parts. And the spray bottle very lightly because it's easy for a spray bottle to get it wet enough that it'll disintegrate. So I have to use it real carefully. This is the extra cow that um, provides milk for the baby if, or the little children. Or I think of it as being a female oxen and I don't know how to make it look like an oxen any more than it does. But um, this cow has had a baby and she's producing milk and 
She also could be hitched up to the with a neck yoke and used in an emergency.